The first cave paintings are some of the most remarkable and mysterious artifacts of human history. Dating back tens of thousands of years, these paintings offer a glimpse into the lives and beliefs of our ancient ancestors and reveal the deep and enduring human impulse to create art and express ourselves through visual media. Most examples of cave art have been found in France and in Spain, but a few are also known in Portugal, England, Italy, Romania, Germany, Russia and Indonesia. The total number of known decorated sites is about 400. Believe it or not, the earliest cave paintings were created by our cousins the Neanderthals. Our ancestors used natural materials like hematite and charcoal to create images of animals, people and symbols on the walls of caves. These paintings were often located in remote and inaccessible places and they were created with a remarkable degree of skill and attention to detail. For many years, these paintings remained shrouded in mystery and speculation. Archaeologists and art historians could only guess at their meaning and purpose and they struggled to understand the techniques and tools used to create them. However, recent advances in technology and scientific research have shed new light on these ancient artworks. We now know that many of these paintings were created over a period of tens of thousands of years and that they were often used for religious, spiritual or practical purposes. Some of the most famous cave paintings such as those found at Lascaux in France depict scenes of hunting and daily life as well as more abstract images and symbols. These paintings demonstrate a remarkable degree of skill and creativity and they reveal a deep understanding of the animals and natural world that surrounded our ancient ancestors. Long before Picasso, ancient artists in what is now Spain were making creative works of their own, mixing pigments, crafting beads out of seashells and painting murals on cave walls. The twist? These artistic innovators were probably Neanderthals. Dated to 65,000 years ago, the cave paintings and shell beads are the first works of art dated to the time of Neanderthals and they include the oldest cave art ever found. In two new studies published in Science and Science Advances, researchers lay out the case that these works of art predate the arrival of modern Homo sapiens to Europe, which means someone else must have created them. In three caves scattered across Spain, researchers found more than a dozen examples of wall paintings that are more than 65,000 years old. At Cueva de los Aviones, a cave in southeastern Spain, researchers also found perforated seashell beads and pigments that are at least 115,000 years old. Some researchers had been reluctant, though, to say that Neanderthals could make symbolic art. Based on the evidence at the time, it seemed that early European art didn't flourish until a major wave of modern Homo sapiens arrived on the continent about 40,000 to 50,000 years ago. Other studies did complicate the narrative. In France, scientists found jewellery made around 43,000 years ago. In one Spanish cave, similarly ancient charcoal lies alongside cave paintings. But none of these sites substantially predated Homo sapiens' arrival, leaving the door open to the idea that Neanderthals merely copied their new, more cultured neighbours. To show that Neanderthals were artists, researchers would need to find art in Europe made well before 15,000 years ago. So did humans or Neanderthals make these cave paintings? This question and others tantalized researchers investigating early paintings in some of Europe's caves. The paintings date back to a time when Neanderthal and early modern humans lived side by side. In the three caves with paintings, researchers found that some mineral crust overlying the paintings were at least 64,800 years old, making the art itself at least that old if not older. 
The crusts above the seashells and pigments found in Cueva de los Aviones, however, were at least 115,000 years old. In light of the two lineages, identical knack for art, the researchers even call into question whether Neanderthals were truly a distinct species or instead an isolated European subgroup of modern humans. The conclusion has to be that Neanderthals were cognitively indistinguishable from Homo sapiens and a Neanderthal versus sapiens dichotomy is therefore invalid. Researchers say that Neanderthals were Homo sapiens too. There was another find in 2017 of a cave painting that dated to 45,000 years ago. This was a life-sized picture of a wild pig and was discovered in Indonesia. The finding, described in the journal Science Advances, provides the earliest evidence of human settlement of the region. Co-author Maxime Aubert of Australia's Griffith University said it was found on the island of Sulawesi by the doctoral student Basran Burhan as part of surveys the team was carrying out with Indonesian authorities. Measuring 136 cm by 54 cm, which is 53 inches by 21 inches, the Sulawesi Wati pig was painted using dark red ochre pigment and has a short crest of upright hair, as well as a pair of horn-like facial warts characteristic of adult males of the species. There are two handprints above the pig's hindquarters and it appears to be facing two other pigs that are only partially preserved as part of a narrative scene. Humans have hunted Sulawesi Wati pigs for tens of thousands of years and they are a key feature of the region's prehistoric artwork, particularly during the Ice Age. These paintings were most likely created by early humans. Another one is discovered in the El Castillo cave in northern Spain and they are estimated to be over 40,800 years old. These paintings include images of horses, bison and deer as well as handprints and abstract symbols. The images were painted with red and black pigments which were made from the natural materials like hematite and charcoal. These paintings were likely created by early humans who were living in the area at the time. They may have used the cave as a shelter or gathering place and the paintings may have had a symbolic or spiritual significance for them. It's also possible that the paintings were used for hunting rituals or other communal activities. The process of creating these paintings would have been a complex and time-consuming one. The artists would have had to gather the materials for the pigments, prepare them and then apply them on the cave walls using brushes or other tools. They may have also used their hands to create the paintings and handprints and other images. One of the most striking features of these paintings is their realism and attention to detail. The animals are drawn or painted with a remarkable degree of accuracy and they are often showed in motion or in a particular pose. This suggests that the artists had a deep understanding of the animals they were drawing and may have had a close relationship with them. Another fascinating aspect of these paintings is their use of symbolism and abstraction. The abstract symbols and handprints may have had a symbolic or spiritual meaning for the artist and they may have been used as a way to communicate with the divine or supernatural. The images of animals may have also had symbolic significance representing important qualities or values in the artist's culture. The meaning and purpose of these paintings remains a subject of much debate among archaeologists and art historians. Some believe that they were used for religious or spiritual purposes, while others argue that they may have had a more practical purpose, such as documenting hunting techniques or communicating with other groups of humans. Despite the many mysteries that surround these paintings, researchers have made great strides in understanding their meaning and purpose in recent years. As we continue to uncover more about these remarkable works of art, we gain a deeper understanding of our own human history. 
The first cave paintings reminds us that the urge to create and communicate through art is an essential and enduring part of the human experience as they continue to captivate and inspire us even after tens of thousands of years. That is all we have for you in this video. Hope you enjoyed it and if you have any other information you would like to add, do drop them in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.